Okay, uh, uh, all right. Uh, welcome back, and we are back again. So, uh, hello again, and welcome again. Let's go forward. Yes, trip six. Yes, one, two word one, infinitive. This is the nature. This is the identity of uh, that kind of, there are about uh, 15 or 20, 20 words. Uh, we will see them in the, uh, level by level, uh, both in intermediate and advanced levels. Okay, now let's start with want. It is very famous. One, two word one. Uh, dialogue one. I want a house. If you want to use a noun, of course, uh, there is no problem. But if you want to use a verb, then you must say, I want to go. I want to be. I want to have. Yes, be, do, have. If you want to use uh, one of the verbs from the three categories, uh, you should use the infinitive form of them. That's, this is this. Okay. But of course, there is no problem uh, in using the nouns as an object. For example, I want a house, I want a book, I want a newspaper, I want uh, I want a knife, I want a pencil, okay. I want a house, but if you want to say the action, then you should use the infinitive form of the six uh, forms of the verb. Not ing, not s, uh, not ed, but not the base form, but the infinitive form, just like this. I want to buy, I want to see, I want to smile, I want to work, I want to speak, I want to write, okay. I want to watch, I want to buy a house. In general, we want health, health is now, yes. But if you want to use adjective, what will you do? So, for example, health is now, it's okay, I want, Health, health. If you want to use adjective, so I want to be healthy, to be healthy. Okay. Don't you want to eat and drink healthy things? Don't you want to eat, to eat and drink healthy things? Of course, of course, sure. We want to eat and drink healthy things. Healthy is adjective. We want to eat healthy things to be healthy, to have health. We want to eat and drink healthy things to have health. Purpose of Edward, to have health, to be healthy. What do you want to have? I want to have a car. I want to have happiness in abstract nouns. I want to have happiness. I want to have, I want to have well-being. I want to have prosperity. I want to have honesty. Yeah. I want to have, I, I want to have a laptop. Also possible, you know this. I want to buy a laptop. What else do we want to have? We also want to have, we, we also want to have health, health. We also want to live healthily. Yes. We want, again, attention, please. Let's summarize it. We, all of us, you, okay, me, everybody, everybody, we want to be free. We want to speak freely. Yes, it is our nature. We want to have freedom, okay? We want to have freedom. Or just in nouns, there is also an easiness. We want freedom. Also possible, of course, but we want to have freedom for all the noun. We want English. Yeah, English is noun. We want English, but we want to learn English, to have English, to acquire English. We want to acquire English. We want to have English. Okay. Again, please, this is really important. Let's focus our attention on the four basic sentences in English, in all English, to be 
imperative, modal, and tense verb sentences. The four sentence types relating to, concerning, to an apple, relating to, connected with, to an apple. This is an apple. Yes. All difficult things start with a simple step. This is a step. We, we also started with this step. This is an apple. It is red. It has got red color. It doesn't have a golden color. Yellow, golden. But you know, you know, there are also golden apples. Aren't there? Yes, yes, there are. There are also golden apples, yellow apples, green apples. Model, you should eat an apple every day. What should you do? You should eat an apple every day. Please, imperative, please give me an apple every day, two. Don't give me two or three apples, but just one. Please give me just one apple. My grandmother, the present tense, my grandmother eats an apple every day too. My grandmother eats an apple every day too. My grandson wants an apple every day. My grandson wants to eat an apple every day. If you want to use the action word, yes, my grandson wants an apple. My grandson wants to eat an apple every day. My grandson wants honesty. My grandson wants to have honesty, to have honesty. Now, my, my grandson wants to be honest. Okay. My grandson wants to work honestly. Honestly. My grandson wants to work honestly, Edward. These are, this is the language, in fact. Yes. Don't look for any other words uh, other than nouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs. Yes, English is all about these word categories. Two, dialogue two, we want to have, yes, we want to have quality things. Why don't we want poor quality things? Huh? We want to have good quality, yeah. Good quality things. But quality is also possible. This is a quality car, you say. Yeah, it is uh, a little bit strange to Turkish, but for color TV, for example. Color TV. Now, some nouns are, uh, we use nouns as adjectives from time to time. We have qualities now here. Yes, things is noun, noun, noun. We want to have quality things. Quality things means good quality things. Why don't we want poor quality things, poor bad quality, yeah, bad quality. Why don't we want poor quality things? We don't want poor quality things because it's our nature. It's our nature. We always want good things, beautiful things, quality things. This is our nature. Durable things, durable. Yes. And we always want useful things. Okay. This is also important. For example, you know, when somebody, uh, when somebody asks you, how are you? You can say, I am fine. How are you? I am fine. I am fine. I am great. I am unfortunately upset. I am angry. I am happy. I am bored. I am long. I am. These are all adjectives. But now take a look at this one, please. How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel fine. Just like this. How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel great. I feel happy. I feel tired. I feel shy. I feel hungry. I feel excited etc etc all the adjectives we can use like this we can use all the adjectives like this how do you feel i feel oh, sorry uh, pessimistic adjective nihilistic cynical okay doubtful but 
Okay, optimistic is the positive. Realistic is the best, I think. Yes, I feel realistic. Okay. Dialogue four. The camel lives in the west of Turkey, in the west, not in the north, not in the east, not in the south, but in the west of Turkey, in Aydın, in Manisa, in Turgutlu. Okay. The camel lives in the west of Turkey. Does the camel live in your hometown too? No. The camel doesn't live in our hometown. Hometown. No, it doesn't. As the species, as the kind of uh, camel family. Yeah, the camel. The camel doesn't live in my hometown. Or a camel is also possible. Okay, again, have got has got. A camel has got four legs. How many legs has an eagle got? Of course, it has got two legs. Do you know that almost all the tables have got four legs? Yes, it is clear. Everybody knows this fact. It's a fact that almost all tables have got four legs. Now, have has again, not have got has got. A camel has four legs. How many legs does an eagle have? An eagle has two legs. This is this. A camel eats grass, plants. Does it eat meat? No. It doesn't eat meat. Which animal eats meat? A cat eats meat. A lion eats meat. 11. A camel does not keep fat. A camel does not keep fat all over its body. Really interesting. Which, what animal keeps fat all over its body and why? This is the polar, polar bear. It lives in the polar region, in the north, in the North Pole region. So, a polar bear keeps fat all over his body. Not It hasn't got humps like the camels. A polar bear keeps, keeps fat all over its body. Why? To keep its body warm. To keep its body warm. Or because it needs to keep its body warm. As you know, the polar region is very cold, so they have fat all over. They have got fat all over its body, or they keep fat. They keep fat all over its body to keep it warm, to keep the body warm. 12a, a camel doesn't have long, thick hair because it's not cold in the desert, but it is hot. Why does a polar bear have long, thick fur or hair? A polar bear, a polar bear has long, thick fur hair to protect his body, to protect his body or for protecting its body, or to keep its body warm, or why uh, does it have, why does it have uh, long and thick fur? It has, or it has got, it has got long and thick fur because it must keep its body warm. It must uh, it must keep its body warm uh, against the cold. Okay. Thirteen a a camel changes. Yeah, this is I said this is beautiful. A camel changes or transforms the fat into food. Does it also change that fat into water? Yes, of course. When it is thirsty. 
when the camel is thirsty, it changes. Uh, it, it changes the fat, the body fat into water to satisfy its body. Does a camel store heat? Oh, this is also interesting. Does a camel store heat in its body for the daytime or for the night? It's a fact, it's a reality that a camel stores heat in its body, yeah? But is it for the daytime or for the night and why? Of course, uh, it stores heat in its body for the night time, for the night time, not for the daytime. Why? Because it is very cold in the desert at night. Or, and this is also very practical, instead of is, you can use now, it gets the weather, the weather here. It means the weather gets cold in the desert at night or becomes cold. The weather becomes cold in desert at night. Very cold at night. At night it's also possible. This is the Bac Bactrian, Bactrian. This and uh, this is the region in Asia. In Asia, its name is Bactria. Uh, so, the ca the camel in that region is called Bactrian camel. Bactrian camel, or it is also famous. This camel is also famous for uh, Asian. Asian camel. Okay. This camel, this Bactrian camel, has two humps. One, two. How many humps does an Arabian, Arabian camel have? An Arabian camel has just one. Only one hump. Is a camel important for the people? Yes, it is. Yes, it is important for the people. Especially or particularly for the Bedouins. Bedouins. Okay, importance is now. It has an importance for them, or it is important for them. Has an now. The camel has an importance for the Bedouins, or it is important for the Bedouins. Okay, all right. Dialogue 15a. A duck weighs about two kilos. How much does a penguin weigh? How much does a penguin weigh? I am not sure about it. Yes, you can start like this. I am not sure about it, but I think, I think it weighs. How much does it weigh? I think it weighs about uh, one and a half kilos. How much does a polar bear weigh? How much does a polar bear weigh? It weighs about two tons, maybe. What is the weight of, you know this, noun of noun. What is the weight of a polar bear? It is about two tons, or the weight of a polar bear is about two tons. What about you? How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh in opposite present tense? I weigh 80 kilos. How much does Ahmed weigh? How much does Ahmed weigh? Ahmed weighs 85 kilos. What is the weight of Ahmed? What is the weight of Ahmed? The weight of Ahmed is 85 kilos. Dialogue 16a. A reptile creeps or crawls. A reptile moves by creeping or by crawling, by doing something. Remember this practical expression, by doing something. How does a reptile move? A reptile moves by creeping. How? By creeping or by crawling like a baby. By crawling. For the baby is crawl. Okay. How does an amphibian move? This is an amphibian. How does an amphibian move? An amphibian moves by jumping or by 
leaping. Does that plant move around? No, of course not. Of course, uh, a plant does not move around. A plant does not move around. Walk around, run around, jump around. Okay. Dialogue 18a. A mammal gives birth. Yes, a mammal gives birth to babies. Does a reptile give birth to babies or lay eggs? Of course, a reptile lay eggs. A crocodile, for example, lay eggs. The hippopotamus or hippo eats plants around water. Does it look for? Does it also look for plants under water? Yes, it does. Yes, it also looks for plants under water because they have an ability. The hippopotamus, the hippopotamus or hippos, the hippos have an ability to stay under water for a long time. Yeah. They can stay, weird model, they can stay under water for a long time. They have got this ability. Which ability? To stay. Ability to stay, noun to do. Uh, they have the ability to stay under water for a long time. They can find plants as food under water as well. Yes, by doing again. Okay. Let's gain this expression today. Okay, at the end of the sentence, an adverb, the answer of how, how, okay. And let's please, uh, let's concentrate on the musicians, those artists, those people of art, people of emotions. Musicians are people of emotions, feelings, yes. The musicians show or express their feelings. How? They express their feelings by singing and playing music. By playing music. How do the painters show their feelings? Yeah, they show their feelings by painting or by drawing. How do the writers and poets show their feelings and ideas? How do they show their feelings and ideas? They show, writers and poets, show their feelings by, 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 by writing. Okay. By means of literature. Or thanks to literature. Literature, literature noun. Literal adjective. Literally Literally, adverb. Okay. Literal pieces of English. My grandchildren speak literally, eloquently, yes. My grandchildren speak by using similes and metaphors, yes. Eloquently, eloquently, beautifully. My grandchildren speak beautifully, eloquently. They have got eloquence, eloquence. They are eloquent, eloquent, adjective. Okay, like plus two word one. A cat likes to eat fish. Yes, it is natural. Everybody knows this fact, this reality. A cat likes to eat fish. What does a dolphin like to eat? Of course, a dolphin likes to eat fish too. What does a squirrel like to eat? A squirrel likes to likes to eat nuts, all kind of nuts. What does a mouse like to eat? What does a mouse like to eat? A mouse likes likes to eat cheese. A squirrel likes nuts, or a squirrel likes to eat nuts. Okay. 21 people watch people watch acrobats in a show do they also watch dolphins in a show 
Yes, especially for therapy. Okay. Do they also watch dolphins in a show? Yes, they do. Yes, they also watch dolphins in a show. Who or what else do people watch other than except for a show? Uh, people also watch people also watch players, singers, entertainers, performers. Okay. Now subject verb object a main clause then van clause. Okay. This is a this is not a question word here. Here van is a conjunction, a connector, a link. Yes, we can use it uh, in the middle or at the beginning of a compound sentence. 22. A dolphin is unhappy. When is it unhappy? A dolphin is unhappy when it is away from its, its school group. It's far away, it's also possible or it is enough when it is away from its school. Are you happy or unhappy when you are away from your school? Of course, my grandkid says that she is unhappy when he is away from her school. She likes her school. She lo loves her school. Okay. A school of dolphins, of course, here, the group of dolphins. Okay, again, the dolphin was unhappy. Yeah, we will study this uh, in this elementary level. We will also see the past form of uh, to be models and tense verb, uh, tense verb sentences in this elementary level at the, uh, uh, in the last tour. Okay, but let's uh, make an investment here. The dolphin was, for example, when we want to tell a story, we start like this uh, in the simple past tense. The dolphin was unhappy when it was far away from its school. Yes. But what about you? Last year, were you happy or unhappy when you were away from school, from your school last year? Yes, I was. I was unhappy when I was away from my school last year because I loved my school. Okay. Okay, let's remember those words again. Herbivore, herbivore is noun. Herbivorous, herbivorous, adjective. Omnivore, omnivore, noun. Omnivorous, omnivorous, adjective. Carnivore, noun, carnivorous, Carnivorous adjective. 24a. Dolphins are carnivores. Now, just like uh, people, those people are doctors. Yeah. Dolphins are carnivores. Those trees are apple trees. Now, because carnivore is now. Dolphins are carnivores. What do dolphins eat? Of course, dolphins eat fish, meat. Are cows carnivores or herbivores? Cows are herbivores. Why? Because they eat grass. Now, uh, parent kangaroo is a dialogue between a parent kangaroo and baby kangaroo and pouch you know and do you remember that pelican a pelican uh, has also a pouch pouch room <laughs> room for its baby room a room for its baby parent kangaroo says come in imperative come in your pouch come in your room Come in your pouch. Baby kangaroo is very lovely, very gentle, very kind. Okay, mommy, let me wipe my feet first. 
let me wipe my feet first and then go in, go in my pouch. Okay, 25A. The mother kangaroo carries, carry, carry each, yes, carry each car, car, yes, car carries, for example. A car carries people, carries, car carries people. The mother kangaroo carries its baby in a pouch on its stomach, on its stomach. How does a kangaroo move? By doing what? By doing what? by jumping or by leaping, like a frog, like an amphibian. How does a kangaroo move? A kangaroo moves by jumping. How does a human being move? A human being moves by walking, by running. How does a goose move? A goose moves by walking, by flying. Okay. Again, like, let's see, let's take a look at the four example sentences. One, I like breakfast. Yeah, this is verb, main verb. I like breakfast. Simple present tense of uh, action verb. I like breakfast. Two, I am like my brother. I am like my brother. Means similarity. I am similar. I am similar to my brother. I am like my brother brother. Three, I like breakfast. Huh. I like breakfast like my brother. What does it mean? I like breakfast. My brother likes breakfast too. So in short, we say, I like breakfast like my brother. Four, I am like my, sorry, I am liked by my brother. This is passive. We will study this form we will study this one in the intermediate level, at the intermediate level. Okay. To like, active. To be liked, passive. Okay. This is also extremely important word phrase. Consider somebody something as something. Very useful. Consider means think, think about, consider somebody, something as. 26A, we consider dolphins as carnivorous. Yes, we consider dolphins as carnivorous. I think so because this is what it is. I think so because this is what it is. Which animal do we consider as herbivorous? We consider. Which animal do we consider? We consider. We consider a cow as herbivorous. Herbivorous. Which animal do we consider as omnivorous? We consider a bear as omnivorous. Which animal do we consider as playful? We consider a monkey or monkeys. We consider monkeys as playful, or we consider cats as playful, or we consider a cat as playful. How do you consider Rasim Bey? I consider I consider Rasim Bey as hardworking, as kind, as adjective. I consider Betty as intellectual. Uh, as intellectual adjective, but as an intellectual noun. So intellectual is both an adjective and a noun. Rasim Bey, uh, Betty, Betty is an intellectual noun, but Betty is intellectual adjective. So we, I, I consider Betty as intellectual or as an intellectual. For example, I consider you as a doctor. I consider Ahmed as my friend. I consider Ahmed as gentle, as a gentleman. Adjective, noun. Consider somebody something as adjective, as noun. 
Okay, two and seven. Rasim Bey is lonely. Adjective. Rasim Bey is lonely. He is a lonely man. But he travels alone. Edward. Edward. Does Nefri Bey travel alone or with friends? He travels alone. He doesn't travel with friends of him. Okay, let's always remember that, and by the way, this is an advanced information, okay? This is an advanced information. These are all adjectives, but uh, that uh, nouns do not come after these adjectives. We can say a lonely, lonely man, but we cannot put alone in front of a noun. Okay. Afraid. We can say the child is afraid. Okay. But we cannot say afraid child. Alike. Ahmed and Mehmet are alike. Yes, possible. Alive. They are They are alive. They are ashamed. They are asleep. They are content. They are glad. <coughs> they are ill, but not a noun. We cannot say glad doctor Ill doctor, we cannot say like this. But the doctor is glad. Okay. The doctor is ill. Okay. We just say the child is afraid. The children are alike. My grandparents are alive. Yeah. Just like this. The pilots are alone. The coach is ashamed. The player is glad. We don't say a glad player. But we say the happy player, the pleased player, the happy player, not with glad. Okay? This is an advanced uh, information, encyclopedic information. Okay. 28. Why? Harun goes to bed early to wake up early. Why does Harun go to bed early? Adverb of purpose. Harun goes to bed early. To wake up early. Why does he make plans? He makes plans to use the time properly. Why does he smile very often? He smiles very often to study joyfully. Why does he use a mobile phone? He uses a mobile phone to connect to, to connect to or to communicate with the other people, just like I do, you do, we do. Yes, just like everybody does. Okay. You know what it is. Do you know what time? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time is? But this is not a question word here. Yeah. Do you know what time it is? Con a conjunction here. Connector. Yes, I know it. <laughs> I know that it is 10.30. I know that it is 10.30. Yeah, the showman says, you know what what time it is and what is what time is it is the question. But what time it is uh, here a clause. What clause? A conjunct, uh, connector. Just like this. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Yes, I know what time it is. We will study them both in intermediate and advanced levels. They are really important. For example, I know that. I don't know that. Or I don't know if. Subject, verb, object. I know that. Yeah, that close conjunction connector link here, and its name is that close. I know that there is there is car hire, but do you know that there is a car wash or car service? Car wash service in it. Yeah, we uh, just do it, do it uh, like we know. For example, do you know? Yes, I know. Yes, I know that there is a car wash service. 
or no, I don't know. No, I don't know that there is a car wash service. It's true, but I think it is better to say no. I don't know. No, I don't know if there is a car wash service in it. Both are true, but we will discuss them in the intermediate advanced levels. Okay. Yes, the showman says, I don't know. No. What does what does he say? And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> now you know. Yeah, you know now. I don't know if there is a dry cleaning service. I don't know if there is. If clause. I don't know it. It. This is a noun clause. Yes, I don't know the car, for example. Now, I don't know if there is a dry cleaning service. Do you know if there is also a, an ironing service? Yes, I know that there is. I don't know that there is also an ironing service in it. <clears throat> this is also very useful. I wonder if. I wonder means I want to know. I want to know. If closed, we need an if closed. I want to know. I want to know the city, for example. I wonder the city now. So uh, I wonder if you can speak English. I wonder if you are a doctor. I wonder if you are a doctor. I wonder if you can come. I wonder if you will come. I want to know if you will come. Okay. I wonder if you have a car. 21A. 31A. Sure, it is an alteration and alteration. Alteration and repair service. I wonder if they have a horse riding facility. I wonder if they have a horse riding facility. Of course, they have a horse riding facility. I wonder if there is a mini golf facility. Certainly, certainly there is a mini golf facility. I wonder if you will come with me. I wonder if you will come with me. Yes, I will come with you. Okay, 32. Certainly there is a mini golf in that hotel. But I want to know, I wonder, I want to know if, I wonder if that hotel has a sports center, a gymnasium or a gym, just a gym. Yes, that hotel has a gym. I want to know if that hotel has a meeting room. Unfortunately, that hotel doesn't have, doesn't have a meeting room. I know that there are two guys in this hotel. I wonder if there is a horse riding. In here is also possible, yes. Horse riding facility, horse riding service, without seeing facility and uh, we also do it in our uh, ma uh, mother language, native languages, yes. I wonder if there is horse riding, is enough, yes. I wonder if there is a childcare center. I wonder if there is a swimming pool. There is no need to say a swimming pool facility. A swimming pool service, but also true. I wonder if there is a car hire facility. Yes, there is. There is a car hire in that hotel. I know that there is a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Sorry. Uh, I want. Uh, I know that there is. I know that. I know that close. I know it. I know the answer. I know the way. I know the hotel. Now, I know that. Uh, this is a this is non close here. I know that there is a Wi-Fi, but I want to know if there are cartoon film shows in that hotel. Yes, there are cartoon show film shows in that hotel for children or to entertain children. I wonder if your children are into cartoons. Yeah. I wonder if your children like cartoons. I wonder if your children are into cartoons. Yes, 
My children are into cartoons. What does it mean? They like cartoons. Okay, quiz time. Uh, question one. A camel blank for long legs. Which one? Of course. Has. Yes. To a blank eats grass. Lion? No. Tiger? No. Cat? No. A cow? Of course. Because a cow is a herbivore. Uh, sorry, sorry, herbivore. A cow is herbivore. A cow, a cow is a herbivore. Three. A blank eats meat. Cow, camel, no, no, sheep, no, dog. Yes, a dog eats meat. The musicians show express their feelings by and playing music. By singing, of course. By singing and playing music. We consider dolphins blank, frankly, and smiling. Or smiling. As, of course. As. Yes. Subject to object complement. We do have. Okay, uh, useful paragraphs in English and Turkish. Yes, real or virtual? Yes, it is really important uh, to decide. It really needs contemplation, deep thinking. Yes. Psychologists say that we can also evolve or improve or develop our ego without being egotistical. B, there isn't the ego, let alone we are egotistical. Isn't there the ego? Yes, there is, but does the existence of your ego real or virtual? Answer, does the existence of the equator real or virtual? Of course, the existence of equator is not real but virtue, hypothetical, hypothetical, virtue. So the ego is just like this existence. It is not real, but it is virtue, hypothetical. You just suppose, you just suppose, uh, think that there is the equator. Okay, problem, problem itself. This is all we will study, I think, uh, a few presentations later. The, all the forms of uh, pronouns, we haven't studied this one. Myself, yourself, itself, ourself, etc. Problem itself, yes, problem itself does not matter because we cannot think of life without problems. What matters then? What matters? Our perspective maybe, our perspective matters. Our perspective towards the problem matters. Is what is important. Okay. Whether we solve the problem or not is not what matters. In addition to this, how we solve it, yes. How we solve a problem is important. And how long it takes to solve a problem also matters. However, but a problem is never wanted. However, we never want a problem. When it is turned up, when it is appeared, when it, uh, when it comes about, a solution-oriented or a conscience-centered approach is displayed. Happiness is rising above the problem, in a way. Happiness, what is happiness? Happiness is rising above the problem, in a way. Okay, yes, thank you very much, and have a nice day. See you later.